Hey, G. Hey. Boxing media. Hey. Uh, a lot of people that have platforms, they put out false information. Yeah. Uh, they run with false narratives. Is boxing media hurt boxing? Yeah. I believe so because when you got when you got our a platform, so basically YouTube is TV now. Mm. So what, when, when you producing your own shit and you putting it out, people realizing like, all right, I need my ratings to keep jumping. They just start saying shit. They just start coming up with shit. No disrespect to uh, I don't know what's them dudes name. The boxing what is it? The boxing voice. They be on early in the morning. What's them dudes? Uh, the ball head boy. What's you talking about Ness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They be up early as shit in the morning on the computer. And it, a lot of times it don't be like really about nothing. Like, to be honest. But if it's on some get money shit, I get it. But boxing, it's not good because it, it be up just talking about anything. And there's some people who believe in that shit, they swear by that shit. But that's not boxing. You just you just listening to gossip. You know what I'm saying? But and, and that's what's happening in, in boxing. It's a lot of gossip going on. And these fighters are getting soft because of that, because of gossip. And because they don't want to be on the bad end of gossip, you got them, they, you know what I mean? They trying to be friends with other fighters and shit like that. It, it, shit is, is weird. It is weird. But then you got some people who, who really get to be around it and, be, and really get inside and they learn how to, they really learn the boxing etiquette not to speak on certain shit and be around certain shit. You know what I mean? Like you, you be in the gym, so it's different. But they, they strictly studio balls. No disrespect to them, but they, and I keep saying it because I know they, I know how they take it and just start, but I don't want to start that with nobody. I don't got time for that. But, you know what I'm saying? They studio, they in the studio, you in the lab, you pull up to the lab, so your work different. You know what I mean? But people love to hear the kind of shit they talk about because it's gossip. You know what I mean? And the female, the female energy is taking over the world. So people just, fuck it. They acting like females. They want to hear the gossip. I just, I just love boxing. I just want to see two men go in there and compete. I don't care about the records. I don't care about how much money they making. I don't care about who they married to. I don't care about how many cars they got and all that. That shit be weird to me. I just like to see them rumble. I like rumbles. You know what I mean? So, in a way, Media, but and it's not media though because because if you think about it, the fighters, the promoters, they they control the media too though, because you control what get put out. Once you start putting certain shit out, now the media start asking certain questions. It used to be certain questions media don't ask. Now they don't care to ask. Mm -hmm. I mean, now they might they might as well just do the interview in your bedroom now. I mean the way the shit is now, but. I mean, but it's cool. So, so what's the balance? Because fans, you'll see fans regurgitate. You know, I'm not singling nobody out, but fans will regurgitate certain things that are said by a channel like, let's say it's a it's it, it's any kind of rumor. Fans will believe it to be true. Oh, such such this happened. This person turned down the fight and not really not really know yeah. exactly the intricacies or the context of what happened. Yeah. So what that is, that just creating more followers though. That just lets you know you got a follower. When somebody when somebody say something that they heard and say it just like they heard it, that's how you be knowing you dealing with followers and fans and whatever else. But we all need each other, so it's gonna happen anyway. But it's just you gotta as a person you gotta know who to I ain't gonna say who to listen to, but what sounds crazy and what sounds like logical, like, oh, okay, I get it. You it's, know what I mean? But some people think this shit is like really like some soap opera shit and they really running off with it. Like, it's not like. It seems like that, that creates tension between the media and the, and the actual fighters, though. Yeah. Because whether certain stuff gets put out or yeah. whatnot, boxers don't trust the media because of yeah. how other media guys have carried it. Yeah. And. It's like it's like when when Tyson Fury felt like Ellie Sebag was disrespecting him. Yeah, I and, remember that. And, and Ellie thought he would just go come in there and start. No, I don't want him in here. And then he tried to like bad mouth Tyson Fury because he kicked him out. Why you? Why shouldn't you be kicked out? You keep saying crazy shit out your mouth. Is I could beat you up, but if I beat you up, then I'm being a bully. So I'm gonna just kick you out. You get what I'm saying? Then now Tyson Fury, this big bad monster. It's, it, it's fucked up because for the fighters, you don't really have a win. But 
the media has to understand if you coming from a media stance that don't, I'm not saying everybody in media is is a chump can't fight this and that but if you're not in it for that don't take it that far don't start saying shit that you can't back up or don't start saying shit like you going you know what I'm saying and that's another reason why I brought, I brought up uh I brought up the boy Nessing him because I heard him one day like cursing somebody out, talking like he was like, like he trying to take it there with somebody. And I'm like, oh, like, would it be like that if y'all was in front of each other? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you that passionate about boxing? Or you that passionate about the gossip that you was listening to and you bringing it to the platform? You that passionate about it that you talking to? Like, he like, get the fuck out of here. Like, he started talking crazy to the person. So I'm like, damn, people really be, they be really tripping over this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if you're not prepared for what come with it, don't call, don't call, don't call a coach or a fighter a bully. They put their hands on you for you saying some shit. You just, they, oh, freedom of speech. Yeah, you can say that. And, uh, you know, some people call some of us freedom of physical. You know what I mean? Some of us believe in that. You know what I mean? Like, that's how the shit go. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't think it's ruining boxing, but I think it's just stirring the, the attention the wrong way. Instead of yeah. the X's and O's of the fight, analyzing yeah, yeah. the fight. Instead, instead of us just really focusing on the sport. Instead of us, and I don't want people to think this fight was about the boxing voice. So, I mean, this this interview was about the boxing voice. It wasn't. It, I just I brought them up. I don't want nobody looking at Mill like Mill initiated some shit. It ain't. It's definitely not that. I brought them up because that was the example. You know what I mean? That I wanted to use. But I think we should just focus more on the sport. You know what I mean? Because when you start getting people business, you know what I mean? That's why you got these guys now, they, they going with the, the mental health shit. You know what I mean? They going all into that because it really it really gets that far because nowadays you are opening up yourself for all this, you know what I mean? This type of shit where it does fuck with you mentally. You know what I mean? So now, yeah, the mental health is a big thing now because you letting all these people in your life. Like, I would never take nobody to my house and we go do an interview at my house no, we're not doing that, bro. I don't give a fuck how, house, how nice my house is and all that. We're not doing that. Like, we just not... You're not about to sit here with my girl. Like, no, we're not doing that. That's my girl. Like, fuck. I'm not having to cook for you and all that. Like, no, fuck no. I'm, that's just me. I'm old school like that. I don't, certain shit I don't play about. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even play like that. Like, but... I don't know. I don't know. This game just... Everybody... Everybody... I think now it's like... Because one person opened up, the game expect everybody to open up. And it's like, damn... And I get the media thing. I do. I, I get it because media is a great thing, but it's a it's a it's a devilish thing because it can get taken too far. Some people, some people be like go crazy over that shit. You know what I mean? And I get it, but but it's a great thing because it can get you out there and people could be like, I really like that guy. Like you know what I'm saying? They want to know more about you. But what you have to understand about the media is this is everybody. They can only take advantage. They can only take advantage because that's their job. Their job is to just get to school. It, it's get frustrating school. With, with me because it seems like it's either you're building fighters or you're trying to destroy fighters. It's either you're trying to build a promotional company or you're trying to destroy it. Yeah. When you have a bad experience with them, yeah. now they just, you know, some guys just go on this, like, just whole month-long tirade where yeah. they just trash it, any and everything about that fighter or about that promotional company. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think it's unnecessary. We're supposed to be unbiased. We're supposed to be neutral parties. Well, how can you yeah. be neutral if you have an axe to grind? That's what I thought. That's what I thought getting into sports. I used to think, like, all right, why is he talking about a personal situation with that boy if they covering the Knicks? Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? Cover the Knicks. Why are you talking about how you don't like Larry Johnson? Like, what type of shit is that? But then uh, that's when I started realizing, like, oh, people be getting in their feelings. Then one time, I'm not going to say who it was, but I was sitting at a reporter's crib one time, and there was other reporters there, and we in the house, we watch a fight, and one of them said, I don't like that guy. I don't like who he is as a person. And I'm like, why do it matter if you covering boxing? He's like, no, I get you. I get what you're trying to say, but I just saw him do something. I'm like, yeah, but you don't know why he did that. You don't, that, that wasn't your business. I mean, so then that's when I knew, like, all right, and that might have been the year 2011, 2010. You, that's when I knew, like, all right, you can't, you can't like let everybody in. You can't fuck with everybody like that. Mm. I mean, no disrespect to the game, but you can't fuck with everybody like that. You can't let everybody come to your crib. You can't let everybody get in your car. You can't. I mean, it don't go like that. Like, they be get it's too, it's too loose nowadays. 